So I got something in the mail today and it's from uh, Key EH. Uh, it's a used parts kind of like camera company or something like that online where you can get used lenses, cameras, uh, anything kind of like camera equipment wise, you can get it. And uh, it came in today. So this is gonna be for my Sony um, ZV-E10 as well as my uh, Alpha 6100. Right now I have the kit lens on the Alpha 6100. That's pretty much what I use for my live streams now. But for out here, when I'm doing my actual videos, I use the, on the Sony ZV-E10, uh, I use my Sigma 16 millimeter. Me and my wife want to kind of start doing photography. I kind of want to go out and do vlogs and stuff. Nothing serious with photography, just being able to take photos and stuff and vlog while we travel. Got some products coming in for my GoPro to be able to attach it to my car and stuff like that as well. That's supposed to be coming in today. But what I essentially wanted was a new lens so I can go ahead and take some photos. So this is not sponsored by uh, KEH, uh, -E but I learned them from about them from another YouTuber. And um, I will say the packaging is crazy. Packaged pretty, pretty nice. So essentially this is a used lens. So this is again, another prime lens. This is one of the Sigma Trio as people call it. And it is the um, 30 millimeter uh, F 1.4 lens. It is super light. It is smaller than my 16 mil. But yeah, just wanted to do some street photography with this lens. Possibly this is the 30 millimeter lens from Sigma. Um, there is a third lens for the Sigma Trio because since I already got the 16 mil and now I have the 30 mil. I think it's a 56 mil if I remember correctly off the top of my head from Sigma and that one will punch, punch in a little further and I'll probably use that for like birds or you know, something that's further away, but use an active steady shot with the Sony ZV E10 or, you know, the Sigma on the Alpha 6100, because this one can take video and photos, but the sound uh, is messed up or the sound port on this camera is messed up. So all I use this is for B-roll or something like that. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use it indoors or in a studio or anything like that as far as this lens goes, but I do have, you know, the kit lens still as well as, uh, like I said, the 16 millimeter, which I use the kit lens and the 16 Sigma uh, lens to vlog or do shots in the studio and stuff already. So this one is just more for portrait outside, taking pictures of wildlife, stuff like that. And again, using um, the cropped in factor for these cameras, since they're not full frame cameras, uh, I'm going to be using that and seeing how it goes. All right, so I got my camera bag here. Um, got some more stuff added. Got windscreen, dead cat, dead mouse, whatever you want to call it for the microphone that I'm using. And that is the ECM-GZ1M. It was a refurbished one on Amazon that I ended up getting. Got a snap mount for the GoPro to be able to hang from a lanyard and snap to my neck so I can actually have the GoPro on outside or wherever this magnetic piece in the, in the inside. So it's not like a chest strap or anything like that. And I also can just use magnets to mount it inside my car when I'm driving around, get some B-roll, stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, all the stuff didn't come today. It's supposed to, was supposed to come, but it didn't. So it's a little update on that. So yeah. What's in my camera bag is not looking good right now. <laughs> One of my favorite content creators put out a video and he was saying to use your cell phone for content creation. The cell phone he was using was the Apple 13 Pro, I believe. And I have a Samsung Galaxy A5100. The camera system on it sucks. This cell phone, like the, the camera system on it is bad. I would use it as a backup camera or maybe to take some pictures at wherever every now and then. Even my wife, we have both have the same cell phone and it takes, a, we have to take multiple pictures to maybe find the right one. Whereas the camera, once I have it all set up, the settings and everything like that, I just click record or I just click the picture or wherever. And I already know when I sit down to edit it or something like that, it's, it's, 
fast, it's quick. And on top of that, if I don't want to do any of that, but I want to send it to my cell phone so I can post it, I can always use the intelligent auto mode on the Sony ZV-1 or the Sony ZV-E10 and go ahead and send it to my cell phone just by using the camera settings. So when I do all that and I look and I see so many content creators out there, whether they be large or small, telling people to use their cell phone, nine times out of 10, their cell phone is something that is a flagship or a version of a flagship or whatever that's better than the base model. And sometimes, yeah, the base model can get you by. Like I said, in some scenarios, so maybe a certain establishment doesn't want you walking around with like a camera that has a huge lens attached to it. Uh, maybe you can get around using something like a point and shoot camera, like the Sony ZV-1, which is less intrusive. But nine times out of 10, there are some places, yeah, you wouldn't be able to record or take pictures or something like that with your actual camera. Um, and maybe you can get away with your cell phone. So your cell phone is a good backup, but saying that you should use it as your main source of, of video taking, I would suggest not doing that. I would suggest saving your actual money and getting something, even if it's like the Sony ZV-1 um, or even the Sony ZV-1F, which, you know, maybe not take a whole bunch of photos, but it does good with um, video taking, um, even though it doesn't zoom in and out as far as the Sony ZV-1F goes. And that one will cost you around $500. Between the Sony ZV-1F and the Sony ZV-1, I would say get the Sony ZV-1. It's what I'm using right now to record videos on. And a lot of my vlogger style talking head videos are like, but are that are like this are on that camera. Now, the main camera, when I do the product reviews and stuff, the Sony ZV-E10, and that one has interchangeable lenses. And obviously I use a different lens um, than the kit lens that comes with the camera, but that one's gonna be around $700 or wherever. Um, if you decide not to get the kit lens, it's gonna be 600 and something. Um, but with all that being said, you have to spend money to make money when it comes to content creation, when it comes to trying to do something maybe even as a hobby or something like that you still gotta spend money you, you wouldn't sit there and have a firefighter use a fire extinguisher on a house fire that requires them to hook up their hose to a fire hydrant just like cell phones they have their use case scenario they have the capability like i said if you go into a shop or something like that and you don't feel comfortable pulling out this massive camera or even a point and shoot camera you can bring out your cell phone, maybe take a couple pictures or something like that, or maybe a short little video. But when it comes to the bulk of your content, you're gonna want something that's gonna record uh, really good, I guess, quality. And on top of that, be able to do product shots or vlog or something like that. I just would suggest highly that you save your money and get a camera. Be sitting here following these people who have the flagship cell phones and thinking because you have a budget line cell phone or something small uh lower than a budget a line cell phone thinking that you're going to be able to get the same quality cameras are made differently cell phone cameras are made differently my cell phone cameras are not going to stand up to the apple cameras or even the flagship uh samsung galaxy like s22 23 or whatever or even the iphone 14, 13, or wherever, max, whatever, whatever their pro line series is, this is not going to compete with that. Statistics are showing that more and more people are paying around the $500 price point for cell phones. Well, if you save a lit, like literally a little bit extra, maybe $200 or something like that, $150, you can get yourself a Sony ZV-1F or a Sony ZV-1, and you'll be in a position to be able to make even better content because for one, you're learning something new. You're learning how cameras work and what to do for cameras. You're selling yourself up for success by getting yourself like the Sony ZV-1, even though it's a point and shoot camera, you can't interchange the lenses, anything like that, but you're learning about uh, S-Log, uh, HLG. You're learning about color grading or wherever that footage you're learning about audio stuff, about peaking. You're learning the menu system of whatever camera company you decide to go with. You're learning about focal lengths, depth of field, which you can do that with a cell phone, don't get me wrong, but you're learning about different focal lengths with different lenses that you can attach. The quality of your footage is gonna be very, very high. Some people say that it's hard to distinguish as far as saying, hey, if I showed you footage of my cell phone 
camera system versus this camera versus my main camera, you would see the difference between the quality and everything. So yes, the higher flagship cell phones, they might have like the best camera quality and that might be a little bit more harder to distinguish than from camera quality depending on how the person shot it and learned it and everything and there is cameras uh, there is channels out there who don't use cameras they actually use their cell phone cameras for their footage all the time and it looks great it looks phenomenal but again nine times out of ten those channels are using some sort of version of a flagship cell phone whether it be a max or an ultra or something like that very rarely are you going to see a channel that has decent quality footage from a cell phone that is not a flagship and even if it's not the ultra it's a, a samsung galaxy s22 that is still in the flagship line the a51 what i have is not in the flagship line so you can see there's going to be a difference. There's going to be a couple drawbacks. I am telling you, use your cell phone for use case scenarios, just like the fire extinguisher, but invest in yourself because it's only going to actually help you and not hinder you in the future. That's just my personal opinion on it. Giving somebody who's a noob a flagship cell phone and being like, you can capture the same kind of footage I can. No, it takes experience. It takes time. It takes years, months, days, hours put in. And I would say, would you want to invest all that time into learning your cell phone and then eventually get in the camera and have to redo all that over again? Or would you just get a camera and already be 10 steps ahead of the person that's going to use their cell phone and then get a camera? and already learn everything that that person is going to have to learn twice or would you want to take 10 steps back stay with your cell phone and just upgrade whenever you want to upgrade and then again like i said learn it all over again i don't know those are just my thoughts let me know yours down in the comment section down below and with that being said i'm gonna get out your hair because uh i have no idea why i made this video but hopefully it touched somebody uh in Hopefully it helped out somebody. With that being said, y'all take care. Have a squid-tastic day. God bless you and yours. And deuces, everybody. Get the right gear. Get the right tool for the job.